knees. Welcome to this Headed for a Breakdown vid. In this video, we're gonna go over chassés and various chassé combinations that we do a lot at Pony Sweat. So chassé comes from the French word to chase. One foot is going to chase the other one. We're gonna start on our right foot, traveling in the right direction. Here we go. Five, five, six, seven, eight. One foot chases the other. So my one foot steps and the other foot chases. And on that fourth count, maybe it sweeps behind you, like we went over in that grapevine. I think that feels good. If you want to add some arms here, you can add this arm circle, which is the arms travel in the same direction that you are traveling in, and make a big circle above your head. You can reduce your range of motion any time in a chasse, taking smaller steps, a smaller skip, and bending your elbows. You can keep it low. You can bring it high with a little hop. Low, high. Nice. Nice pony. All right, here we go. We're gonna take this other chasse combination that we do a lot, which is a skip, and then step back, front. So skip, cross behind, in front. So the foot that chasing comes behind, and then you step in front. Back, front. So right foot skips, left foot crosses behind, right foot steps, switches sides. Let's try a double time, okay. My arms like to come out on the skip, which gives a little bit of, gives a little bit of lift. Sometimes you might see folks bring one hand down. Okay! All right! Here's another one that we do a lot. Again, we'll do it half time, so skip. This time step in front, then step behind, then step in front. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So a little bit faster, it'll take, here we go, let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then when we do this one, if your body wants to, it can kind of add a dramatic twist away and towards. Don't see me. No, see me. Don't see me. Don't look at me. Look at me. Don't look at me. Bodhi, let's go to that top. Let's go back to this one, this top one. Let's put them all together. Let's feel the difference between all of them. So this one. Last two. Last one. How about the second one? Step behind in front. Other side. How about the last combination? This time step in front and then behind. And then the front. Other side. Okay. Oh, fun! How about we go back to this one again? And this time just rock back and forth. A little chasse and just swing back and forth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Last combination we're going to do. We're going to take this one all four directions. Back wall. So it's two. Two times all sides. So to the right, then the left. Switch directions. Right, left, back wall, right, left, other side, left side. for a breakdown. In this video, we're gonna go over pony. We're gonna go over the pony dance move. This dance move was made popular in the 60s by Chubby Checker and their song, Pony Time. Well, I would argue it's pony time right now. So the counts to a pony 
is up. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. So half time is like that. So right, left, hold, right, left, right, hold, left. Tap. 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 Double time. So I'm just kind of tapping my toes on the ground. You can take this low and just a little triple it, triple it. Sometimes it helps me to think of it like a triple it, triple it. Sometimes you'll see folks kind of kick out on their pony. One and two, three and four. Kicking out on the two and four. Sometimes you'll see folks really travel with their pony. You can try that out. Whatever helps connect your body to the song, whatever feels good in your body. Lots of times, we'll take this around the room. So we'll take a whole knee to the front, traveling in the same direction as your lead foot, all four directions. So front, traveling towards the right, because we're leading with our right foot. Welcome to Headed for a Breakdown. In this video, we're gonna, we're gonna go over a pattern of movement that we do a lot in pony sweat. Almost every class we do this. I mean, every class we do do this. It's in the warm up. So it starts with a two step to one side. We'll start with our right foot heading towards the right. Two step, so step, step together. Two, step together, shift your weight to take another step. And then you just tap on that last. So tap on four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So we'll do two steps, two steps, two steps, into a step touch. So it's two to the right, two to the left, and then a step touch. Let's try it double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice that when it's fast, you'll notice when it's fast, I'm staying low in my center of gravity. Two, two, step touch. Last time, pony. Well, oh, 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 okay. And then we take that same pattern, a two step, a two step, and a step touch, but we're gonna add some traveling and some direction turning to that pattern. So we'll start facing your left, traveling towards each other with our right. We're gonna take that two step, here we go. And two, and one. Then we're going to pivot to the other side of the room and step down with our left foot for that last two. Two, one, and then we'll take our right foot to step, touch, back. Step, touch, let's do it again, half time. Two, two, half turn, two, two, step, touch, back. Should we do it? Double time. Let's do it half time again. Let's do it half time again. Two. One. Two. Step, touch, back. Pony, all right. Hi, Pony. Welcome to this Headed for a Breakdown vid. In this video, we're going to go over pivot turns. Grace Jones is going to help. So we're going to start on our 
Right foot, starting on our right foot, we're gonna take a step towards each other, step. And then we're gonna pivot turn to the left, right? We're gonna turn away from that, that stepping leg to pivot to the back wall. And then we're gonna take that same foot, right leg, to step through, and then pivot turn towards the front again. So step, half turn, step, half turn. So I'm stepping with my right foot, and my left foot is just staying stationary, but pivoting, turning my body. So pivot turn generally takes four counts of music, right? So one, two, three, four. And then maybe if you wanted to wrap it up, a whole eight count, maybe it's a one, two, three, four. Sometimes out together, out together. That might be one way we finish out an eight counts of music with a pivot turn. Lots of times we'll add an arm pattern. We'll go over that in an arm pattern. Break down big. Let's try it switching legs. Let's try it on the left side. Here we go. We're gonna step with our left pivot to the back. Left pivot to the front. Out together. Out together. Again, left foot. Back. Back. Cut. Cut. Last time. So sometimes, depending on what floor surface you're working on, right? If you're wearing your sneakers on a carpet, the body's not gonna love a pivot turn, right? You want a smooth surface that doesn't bring any un undesired pressure onto those knees as we turn. So if you don't want a pivot turn, I think that a weight shift back and forth feels good. So we just step, shift our weight, switch, shift our weight. That same has the same feel. Same feel, switch feet. Step two, switch. Step two, switch. Getting this pattern in your body. However your body wants to express this pattern. Maybe there's a little bit more hip. Maybe you push that hip forward in a push turn. Hello. Welcome to this Headed for a Breakdown vid. I heard through the grapevine that you wanted me to go over and break down this cross step for you. Oh, okay. Well, I will. I will. So we're going to start on our right foot. We're going to step forward on that right foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Step and then tap out. And then use that foot to step forward. Okay, that back. Step. Step. Half time. Step right. Tap out left. Then step left, walk back. Again on the right, step, tap out with your left, left step, tap out with your right, step back. And I guess I call it a cross step because it kind of makes a cross pattern on the ground, right? A line down the middle, a line out the side, step back. Yeah, it's really fun. You can point your toe as you tap out. You could kick if you wanted to. You could take a heel tap, step, heel tap, step, heel tap. Let's try it out with that. Okay, here we go. Step, out, step, out, walk back. I think this pattern has a lot of drama in it. Very emotive. I'll often instruct while doing this pattern in class. What do these arms want to do? I don't know. We can explore. We can explore what our arms want to do here. Half time. Half time. Half time again. Exploring arms, adding arms. 
Maybe it's like a step, step, back, two. Let's take it double time. Step, out, step, out, one, back. 